Hi everybody, Steven here. Welcome back to my channel. Got a, another Timu haul here for you. Without any further ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing is uh, 100 sheets of natural vintage papers. I think that's what it said in the description. Um, Eden Garden is what it says on the front. Um, and this is the beautiful garden variety. I'm not going to tell you the prices on these, um, just because Timu changes their prices so much. So the price that I would tell you now could be completely different than when you click on it. What I will do is, like I always do in my Timu haul videos, I'll list the uh, all the links to the items, unless they're sold out. I'll list all the links to the items in the description box below. So anyways, 100 sheets of beautiful garden papers. Take a look at these. They come in this nice belly band here. And I am having difficulty getting off. Come on. I haven't actually gone through these, so sorry. I'm hesitant to rip it because it's so pretty. Definitely not going to be putting that back on. <laughs> it's like a vellum. It's pretty. Looks like you get two of each kind. That's pretty. Has some writing in the background. I like that one. Could see putting some of these on a card, maybe. Definitely good for um, junk journaling, scrapbooking. These are really pretty. Oh, I like that one. All the writing in the background. Those flowers, that's pretty. Oh, birdcage. A crab, <laughs> just just a crab. Hello, crab. That's pretty. I like that. Oh, there's a lady there. Another horse. Another horse there. I'm just gonna kind of quickly flip through these. There's another lady there. Oh girl, that's a this is a nice one. I like that one. That could be a card topper, a big card topper, or cut it down, make it a little smaller. That's a pretty one. Oh, butterflies. Waiting for the butterflies to make an appearance. I've seen this print, Paul Charvet, on some other scrapbook papers I have. Some scissors. Those are those. Next up, we've got 24 pieces, a uh, little teeny tiny bit smaller than six inches by six inches uh, angel butterfly papers uh, 160 GSM so slightly thicker yet 24 two of each 12 designs there's the front these are really pretty when I looked at the pictures look at that Wow Beautiful. Ah, springtime. I love these colors. The pinks and the really light purples, lavenders. That's really pretty. Oh, look at all those butterflies.
good background paper for cards. Vertical strips there can use for belly bands or something, or vertical belly bands. So that's a pretty background watercolor. That's also very pretty. And then these last two. Awesome. And then next, more 6x6, six six, slightly smaller than 6x6. Six six. Uh, you get 24, two of each, 12 designs. Um, butterfly, owl, flower, and leaves paper. So the front says memories on it. Again, 160 GSM, so slightly thicker. Not quite cardstock, I'd say. Some butterflies on that and all the music notes and documents in the background. That's really nice. Oh, I like that. Dragonfly city map. These are almost like cut aparts. I like them. And I like the tone, kind of tan, sand colored tone to it. Oh, and there's an owl. Butterfly, kind of horizontal strips on that. Or grid. There's a lady. Oh, that's a beautiful blue pattern there. I like that. Postcards and letters. Beautiful print. Flowers and other things. And kind of faded, distressed pattern background. Awesome. Really like those. Okay. Get these picked up. And then next up, these I just wanted to check them out. I thought maybe some of them could be card toppers. They're kind of small. 72 pieces positive sentiment cards. Uh, they measure 3.27 by 2.09 inches. And you get 72, and I'm not sure if they repeat. But when I was looking at the pictures, um, a bunch of different sentiments. You make a difference in so many ways. You rose to the occasion, and a picture of some roses. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Your hard work has really paid off. Congrats. You make a huge difference. They're semi-glossy. Never underestimate your power to change yourself. Thank you for your commitment. Your strength inspires me. Never give up because great things take time. I appreciate you. If you can dream it, you can do it. Never put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Never give up. Never lose the opportunity to succeed. You are exceptional. I appreciate your hard work. Believe in yourself. You totally rock. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Your dedication is extraordinary, and you get the idea. Failure is the mother of success. What an amazing job. Enthusiasm is infectious. You make me smile. You are a superstar with a gold crown. Keep it up. So I could use some of these as card toppers and smaller cards. I am in awe of your many talents. You inspire me every day. You are on fire. Ooh, that doesn't sound pleasant. You did an amazing job. Oh, look at that. Watermelon. You can do it too. Keep it up. Got this, today is your day. Anyways, they show on the uh, item description in the picture, they show all of these. You just kind of click on the picture and zoom in. So, I haven't seen any repeats yet. And these are cardstock, they're heavyweight. 
like I said, semi-glossy. These would be great just to toss in with a card to somebody just as an extra thing. An extra nice little note. Failure is the mother to success. Already seen that one. Thanks for being you. I appreciate your hard work. Appreciate your thoughtfulness. Thank you for being supportive. And a cactus, you won't break my soul. Okay. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. You won't break my soul. That's good to know. Cool. Those are... I like those. I can use some of those as card toppers, I think. So the next thing I got is this silicon crafting mat. It's 15.7 uh, by 11.7 inches, and it's 0.75 millimeters thick. Um, you can get them in different colors, white, gray like I got, or I think black. And you can get it for slightly less money in half a millimeter, or you can get it in... Uh, or... Yeah, you can get it in um, half a millimeter or three quarters of a millimeter thick like I got. So this will be good for um, using my distress inks, um, having my heat gun on it. Um, and it's bigger than the small pink one I got from Dollar Tree. And when I... I'm making cards and I'm using adhesives too. Uh, this will help them not stick to my cutting mat. Boy, that's really rolled up. There. I don't think you can see the whole thing on camera. But it's shiny on one side and matte on the other. Yeah, nice and big. Slightly see-through. So it feels substantial. Doesn't feel like it's going to rip. And remember, this is the thicker version that I got. Get it in the thinner version for slightly less. Okie dokie. Next up, vintage plant stickers. I got a roll of these. Uh, I'm not going to give you the measurements on these, uh, just because there's so many different kinds of them. Uh, but you get, as you can see, pretty decently thick roll of them. It doesn't, I looked over the uh, item description and the pictures. It doesn't say how many you get per roll, but it looks like you get a fair amount. Um, and let me find the end here. Oops, I just took a piece of the sticker off. Bummer. And another one. And they're white and kind of a, the print is, I don't know what color that is, kind of a, it's got kind of a reddish brick hue to it on kind of an off-white kind of cream. And it's just a bunch of flowers with a print on it. I thought they were pretty, so. And it looks like it repeats from here to here, so get that mount from here to here and then it repeats two flowers again kind of ornate borders on some of them you can get square or rectangles and then kind of tag label shapes so i thought they were pretty and they're not washy or pet stickers, and they're not see-through, they're opaque. Um, so I can distress these too, which is nice. Uh, 
And then next up, 200 pieces vintage scrapbook paper. And you also get some pet stickers. So at the time of filming this, um, these are sold out at the moment. So these won't be in the link to the description, in the description box, unfortunately. They seem to be pretty popular. I think I've seen these hauled before. And I love how it comes in this um, kind of thick vellum envelope thing. When I was flipping through the uh, pictures, I liked the uh, pictures and the item on the uh, on the app. So these feel like die cut tags and tickets. These are pretty thick. So you get some of these. The vintage -y distress and there's a tag. A little hole. These all have little holes in them. And then you get some, I guess these must be the pet stickers. E.T. stickers, which seem kind of like washi stickers. Looks like you get two of each kind. These are really cool. I like, wow, these are great. Yeah, perfect for junk journaling, scrapbooking. Distress some of these with some vintage photo distress oxide ink that shade or even walnut stain the white ones these ones you don't really need to as much unless you want to oh that's great these open envelopes with the roses i like that those are cool I'll definitely be using those circle with flowers and stuck together Ah, an old writing quill. Pocket watch. Flowers. No idea what that is. Something holding... I almost thought it was a toilet paper hold, antique toilet paper holder at first. <laughs> but it looks like it's holding something with a document on a roll. Not sure what that is. Those down. Some ephemera, flowers, flowers with script. Old postmark, old phone, postmark, key, ink wells, and old quill pen, some script. Oh, these are cool. I've never seen anything like that. Envelopes, old clocks, letters. Some old glasses. Books. Pieces of documents. Old radio, clock, letters. Lots of great stuff in here. Flowers and letters. The Words of Edgar Allan Poe, Volume 1. Essays on the Poet Art. Interesting. That's what that says. And book, old letters again. You get quite a few of these pet stickers. BET stickers. Awesome.
if I can get these back in the bag. Cool. And then it looks like you get several sheets of acetate with print on them. And a couple of pieces of acetate ephemera. You can see that. Some glasses and I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it looks like a letter and a stamp and seal. And the wax, the seal wax, is what that looks like. That's cool. Yeah, some acetate. And then, oh, looks like you get a few of those. And then you get some of these acetate papers with like books. And then the papers themselves, and that's neat. The distressed clip on that. Oh, these are great. Tags, files, legal pad. I can see why this sold out. Put apart tags. Oh, this is great. Torn edges. Circles. Circles. Oh, there's the other piece of acetate sticker. Circle. Writing. More circles. Writing. There's a space to write on some of these, it said in the description, but I guess maybe these, some of the blank ones. Oh, that's neat. A photo, picture of a photo album. Oh, let me hold that the right way. There you go. That's cool. Picture of photo album on the desk. Some worn kind of coffee stain document. These are awesome. Inkwell and a quill pen. Acetate <laughs> sticking out there. Just hanging out. Oh, the torn edges again. Torn edge newsprint. Awesome. Postmark. And a holiday theme with the picture of Pride and Prejudice open up to the interior page. Sweet. Kind of collagey. Oh, look at that deep color. That orange. Awesome. That is a really, really cool variety pack. I like it. And I like this vellum. Some thick vellum, too, that it comes in. So there's that. Next, uh, I got some more tag dies. This time it's just a plain tag, and these are on the smaller side. Uh, the other tag die I got on Timu had uh, little whole dots on the border. These are just plain, plain old tags. And so these measure... Um, Two inches by four inches, one and a half by three inches, one by two inches, one and a half by one inches, two by one inches, um, 
This one, I'm guessing, so all different sizes, three quarters by one and one eighths, three and one eighths by three quarters, and then the little circle is a half an inch. And then you get eight pieces in this die set. So yeah, got some itty bitty dies with rounded edges and then regular dies that are slightly bigger. But these are on the smaller side, so just kind of be aware of that. There's that one. And then I also got another die with um, torn edge kind of aesthetic. And this one measures, let's see, two inches by three and a half inches tall. And then this um, label in the middle measures three quarters of an inch by two and three eighths of an inch. So again, on the smaller side, uh, but still not too bad. And I'm anxious to see what this looks like. Um, die cutting out some tags on this kind of torn border aesthetic. It looks pretty cool. So there's that. Next I got, and I'd never seen these before on Timu. Um, it's a set of three circle punches. Um, and they were not that expensive for all three of them, and they feel fairly substantial. Um, you get one inch, a one inch punch, a five eighths of an inch punch, and a three eighths of an inch punch. So they don't go that big. Um, but the main reason I got them is for um, pockets and such and junk journals. Um, creating just a pull tab by halfway on the on the lip of the paper, feeding this halfway through and then punching it out, and then you have a little half moon taken out. So that's the main reason I got these. And I'll tell you the price I paid for these. Um, these were six twenty nine for the three of them. Um, so that's what they look like. There's the interior. Let's see if I can find something to... Oh, I know. I'll punch something out of here. Or I'll try to. This might be a little on the thick side for it. Yeah, that's a little on the thick side. This is pretty thick. Um, oh, no, it's not too thick. I just got a... Hmm. Well, I might actually have to send this back to Timu. This one seems to be faulty. It's not uh, clipping all the way through. If you can see inside there, how oh, that's not going all the way down. It should be going all the way down through the bottom hole, but it's not. So that's a disappointment. And that's the main one I wanted to use too. <laughs> that figures. Uh, that's a shame. Well, yeah, there's not really any way I can fix that. It's just not going through. Yeah, I'll be contacting Timu about that. 
We'll see if the other ones work. I won't do it on the box since I'll be returning this. Yeah, these really aren't very good, but three of them for six bucks. Well, this one works, as you can see. And the little one works as well, but the biggest one, the one I really wanted, the one inch one, uh, does not work at all. Yeah. That's a shame. So there's those. So I would recommend avoiding these unless you want to take the risk. Who knows? Maybe you'd have better luck than I do. But this is a case where I think you get what you pay for. Um, good punches are not cheap. Um, but in this case, I wanted to check these out and they seem like a really good deal. And I guess in this case, it was just too good to be true. So that's a shame, but I will be returning these. So, yeah. Okay, next up, we have, oh yeah, so a 20 pack of these mini sanders, uh, they measure one and a quarter inches in diameter, and they're just uh, medium grit sanding discs, and they're to, I'm going to be using them to distress paper. And so they fit on the end of blending stumps, ink blending stumps, like the Ranger ones that you can pick up. And they got the little felt side to attach to your blending stuff. And then they just have sandpaper there. Then you can just distress things with it. And yeah, it's medium grit black. So not too bad, 20 pieces. Um, another uh, YouTuber I follow, the Halfast Crafter, Laura, um, she got these and I saw her using them. And so I'm like, oh, cool. That seems like a good thing to get. And they were a pretty good deal. So I picked up 20 of these. So now I'll be able to distress things with my blending, blending things. So yeah. The next thing I got were uh, 16 pieces, eight envelopes and eight seal stickers. Um, and I thought these looked really pretty in the pictures. And you get, yeah, you get eight, eight of the envelopes and eight of these stickers in this little decorative thing here. And then there are the stickers. And the stickers, you get six bigger circular stickers. Um, that measure about three quarters of an inch in diameter. And there are the stickers. And then you get two of the smaller ones that measure about five eighths of an inch in diameter. And they're really pretty. And then you get two of these little envelopes here. Aren't these just adorable? Really pretty. Perfect for junk journaling, scrapbooking. And then you get three of these medium-sized envelopes here. Really pretty. And these don't have adhesive or anything, so they're not exactly designed to be mailed. Though you could get some double-sided tape or glue and stick a label on here and mail them, I guess, if you wanted to. But 
the material they're made out of feels like regular envelope paper thickness so not super thick not super thin either so and then you get three of the larger size and these measure um, the large size envelopes measure three three and three quarters of an inch by two and a half inch tall two and a half inches about to here and then the medium size envelope you get three of those and those measure three and one sixteenth of an inch by two and one eighth of an inch then the two itty bitty adorable little envelopes you get two of those at two and a half inches by one and three quarters of an inch so i've discovered i have an affinity for tiny envelopes and little things that hold things <laughs> so pockets things like that so i snag these up And it comes in this belly band that I will not put back on right now, or probably at all. Next up, I got some stamps. So these are some postal stamps, 20 pieces, um, and a bunch of different sizes. The circles, these ones measure three quarters of an inch in diameter. The little ones are one inch, or uh, the big ones are one inch diameter, and the little ones are three quarters of an inch, I think. And then the rectangular ones measure in various sizes, like one of them is one and three quarters by five eighths of an inch, but they're kind of oblong sizes. So you get just different ones. Sorry about the glare. It's different postmarks and cancellation there really cool these will be great on tags and other bits of ephemera error mail one there so those are cool and then another kind of ephemera stamp set it's uh, ticket stamps um, you get 10 of these and these are substantial these are heavy and they're big big stamps um, so 13 and let's see one of them measures two and a quarter by one and three eighths of an inch like this one down here one of the smaller ones and then this big one up here so it ranges up to um, Let's see, let me get my ruler out. One and a half by four inches tall, this one. So that's a big stamp, and that's like a big railway ticket stamp. Very cool. And again, sorry about the glare. And one more stamp set, more postal stamps. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. This ticket one was not 13 pieces. It was 10 pieces. 10 pieces. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this postal one is 13 pieces. And you get circular ones, uh, cancellation to um, that one down there. And this one here that has the blanked out face. And these measure... The circles are five eighths of an inch in diameter, um, and then the rectangular ones, for example, two and a quarter by one and three eighths, and there's another one that measures one and a quarter by one and thirteen sixteenths of an inch. So sorry about kind of the reflection and glare, but you get the general idea. Almost done. Next up. Got a hundred sheets of retro background paper, retro literary background papers, and I got the butterfly letter version. There's multiple kinds you can get. And yeah, I got butterfly letter. And these measure 2.36 by 3.31 inches long. 
So we'll just flip through these. And I kind of flipped through these earlier. They're they're pretty. And they face this way. So really good for junk journaling, scrapbooking, put them on tags, make clusters with them. Lots of butterflies, of course. That's a pretty one. I like that one. And I believe you get 52 of each kind because I believe it starts repeating. I like that. And that one. And that one. And that one. <laughs> I pretty much like them all. Ooh, that one's cool. This would make a good vintage card topper. Smaller card, really pretty. Oh, these butterflies are just gorgeous. Oh wow, look at that one. Oh, these are pretty. Okay, I think we're getting into repeat town now. Oh, not yet. I haven't seen that one. That one's cool. Maybe you don't get repeats, because I haven't seen that one either. Those figures there on the right. Oh, yep. There we go. I've seen that one. So, yeah. Very cool. So, 100 of those. And then the last thing I got was a pack of uh, 46 stickers, two of each, 23, 23 varieties, and these measure 1 and 9 sixteenths of an inch squared. So these are vintage rose flower stickers. And I got variety A. You can get uh, multiple varieties, and so I got A. that one out of there go flip through them yeah very pretty Two of each. And look at that, the bicycle. Oops. Sorry. Trying to... Okay, there we go. Bicycle. And corset. Butterflies and shutters. Every house where love abides and friendship is a quest is surely home and something else. <laughs> That's interesting. Carte Postal. That's a cool one. I like that one. That's pretty. That's very pretty as well. Chateau. So, very pretty. 46 pieces. And that is my Timu haul. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, much, much, much appreciated. 
Uh, if you like what you see, please consider giving a like and subscribing. If not, that's totally okay too. I will see everybody in the next video. I uh, should have hopefully another crafting video and then um, possibly another small uh, vintage book haul video coming up. Um, I have to see what my schedule looks like, uh, but there should be a video coming soon regardless. So hope to see you there. Have a fantastic day. Bye.